You know, you can't be a conservative and then be alternative. That's like the op like that's like the opposite. That's that's like girl, what are you No. Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um my name is Lilo. Um I don't know why I'm forgetting my intro, but I haven't made a video in a long time and I've just been like really tired and I've been sick so much. Recently, I was sick like the other night. I was like coughing up, like, I don't know, bro. It was really weird. And like, it's spring now, which is really great. I like spring. Uh, the problem is with spring is that like, I have hay fever. So I get sick like super easily and it makes me really upset. And then like, I just like woke up. So I woke like out in the wild <laughs> for like five minutes. And then I come back inside, I have a sniffle nose, my eyes are freaking red and I'm itching my eyes. My, like, it, like, I'm just like, I hate, I hate spring. I like the way it looks, it's really pretty. I love the way, I love the way it looks, I just don't like the way it makes me feel. Um, anyway, today we're going to be talking about something that I actually am very passionate about, sort of, not really. Uh, I'm passionate about everything, basically, but. Um, is there a problem with the alternative space? And... Um, I have a lot of things. I have a lot of notes. I have also I have my laptop here because I have to read all of them because like it's just so much things that it's actually kind of ridiculous. So I I would say I've been a part of the uh, alternative community since twenty twenty one, which is basically when everyone was like, oh wait, you can what the alternative? What's that? And then everyone's just like, yeah. <laughs> I have so many like. Like, off topic, I have so many cringy. I'm not cringy, but like, I really, I wanted to be alternative so bad. I mean, I was alternative, but like, I wanted to dress like the typical alternative person I would see on my For You page. And obviously, I live in South Africa. That isn't very possible. Uh, not because, like, like, ugh, ew. Point is, I'm not in America, it's not the same. It's just not the same. I'm in an African country. It's not the same. If you know, you know. Anyway, so I just want to talk about the alternative community because, you know, again, I've been here since 2021 and I've learned a lot, I've seen a lot, I've heard a lot, I've learned a lot, which is, can I just say that? It doesn't matter. The point is we're here and like, I'm still in the community. And, you know, I just want to quickly like talk about the way I feel about the community before we start talking about like the problems and like my opinions on those set problems um, and mis like misconceptions and stuff like that. So firstly, I like the alternative community. I I really like them. <laughs> I think they're really chill. I mean, they're just people who just have certain views and like certain music and dress a certain way. So like, what's not not what's not not what's not to like? There you go. Hey, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I really like alternative music. I listen to a lot of punk music and white girl songs. White girl music is that a really genre? Probably. I, my favorite genre is probably, not my favorite of all time, but like my favorite at the moment is probably like Midwestern emo, like McCarthy. I don't know if I say that right. Don't come for me. I don't have any alternative friends. I don't know how it's said. I don't know how it's said, but I think that's how it's said. Um, I like Deftones, but I can't really say that because that makes me look like a poser. <laughs> I like Deftones, said every alternative person like ever, like, okay. I do like their tones. I just I like when, when I meet somebody and they like alternative music and they're like, I like what your favorite song, what favorite artist, and they're like, I like Radiohead, and I'm like, oh, okay, let's go. And they go, I like deaf tones, and then I go, oh, what's your favorite song? They always ask me what that. Like I, it's either I ask them that or like, someone always asks me like, what's your favorite deaf tone song, and I'm just like, I have to be different. I can't, I can't say like. I have to be different. I, I don't know why. I just feel like I have to be different and be like so emo and be so different. I don't know why, okay? It's just, it's just the way it is, okay? Just leave me alone. Normally, recently, I've been saying my favorite song is Seven Words. Is that even a song, girl? <laughs> uh, I know how the way it goes, sort of, not really. But anyway, um, yeah, I like the alternative community. I like music. I have, a, I have like a whole playlist with just alternative music. How much is there in that thing? It's like, it's like nine hours. It's not that much. Uh, 181 songs. I have like Mother Mother. Mother Mother will always be in all my playlists. I love Mother Mother. Um, I 
see, I like mine as self-indulgence, but I can't say that because, well, yeah. I don't, I don't want to explain that. You just, yeah. That's a whole different thing, dude. I feel like alternative um, artists are very controversial and I just can't handle it. Uh, I like Avril Lavigne, dabbled in her music, uh, falling in reverse. <laughs> anyway, 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 I'm getting distracted. Point is, I like alternative music. I think they're cool. I like the way they dress. And every out of all the subcultures, actually, yeah, I like all of them. Um, I think goths are really, really cool. I don't know how to do that makeup. I, I, I'm, I've never tried it before. If I try to have it, if I try to do it, I'd have like a seizure. Cause like, it's too hard. I don't know how you guys do it. Like, I feel like I'd like get so upset because it just wouldn't work out. I don't like makeup like that. Like, makeup stresses me out. Anyway, uh, the emos are just pretty. Yeah, they're chill. <laughs> this today I was on TikTok and I saw this really hot emo boy guys. And I was like, I just wanna play Yusha Radica real quick, like please. Anyway. Anyway. It's not the point of the video. I'm not you're not here to listen to me gush about alternative music. You know? But yeah, I do like alternative music. I think it's freaking radical. And if you don't like alternative music, that's kinda sus. I'm joking. Um, okay. So I want to talk about like the problems, the problems. So like there are a few problems that like are because of like a lot of misunderstandings and a lot of confusion. Um, you know, you know how like people assume that like if you dress a certain way, you listen to a certain type of music, right? And that's like okay, fair enough. You know that you because it's a part of your identity. You're, you like music. You're gonna dress up as that because you're inspired by that, right? Makes sense. But what I've seen, what I've noticed in the alternative community is when somebody dresses up a certain way and out of a sudden they're no longer alternative. And I think that's weird. Cause I wouldn't, I, me personally, I've always felt like kind of left out of the community because I couldn't dress like very like, oh my God, guys, in 2021, I wanted to be an e-girl, please. Please, I want to be emo girl, like e e girl. Please, let's not talk about it. Point is, I saw that on Pinterest, and I was like, I'm so jealous. I want to look like these girls. And obviously, I couldn't do that because just like I'm in a South African, I'm in an African country, and the bot, like guys, need on like there's there's nothing for me. There's nothing for me. Anyway, I felt really at that other community, and I was like, wow, everyone's so cool, and I'm not even not cool. Like, I'm just a basic nobody. And I felt really left out, and that wasn't really fun for me, you know? And I feel like we shouldn't do that because, yes, being alternative has a lot to do with the things you wear, but it, that's, it's, not the, it's not the only factor into being alternative. Like, you can, you can dress like a simple dimple, okay? You can dress like a simple dimple, simpleton, and then listen to, like, heavy metal rock, you know? Like... You can still be alternative, even though, even though you're just like a simple dimple. And I feel like a lot of people need to be reminded of that. Because I always feel like these kids... Well, I'm, what am I saying kids? They're probably older than me. <laughs> these kids on TikTok... <laughs> I'm a kid. Anyway, these kids on TikTok are like complaining. And they're like... Not complaining, but like they're venting. And they're just like... Oh, I dress like a simple dimple. And when I go out and I see a bunch of hot emo dudes... They don't even look in my direction because they don't know. But I'm also emo. I'm a star. I'm a star. I please. I'm a star. I feel that. But also, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> Nothing else. Um, but yeah, clothes don't define. Just don't like define you. And being alternative is so much more than just the clothes. And that's what I really want to get into this video because being alternative, the one of the main points of the alternative community. Are the views that you have that is like one of the most important things what views do you like do your views align with the community's views if they don't then it's kind of like are you really alternative you know like it, it the views have to align with the community's views at least like majority of the time not exactly because we're not fucking running we're not we're not running a cult okay but <laughs> it needs to be very very like 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 lost, lo lost long twins. You know, you can't be a conservative and then be alternative. That's like the op like that's like the opposite. That's that's like, girl, what are you? No, because 
tell me why I've been seeing an influx of people going, yeah, I'm goth, but I'm conservative. Huh? Eh, I'm goth, I'm emo, but I'm voting for Trump. I'm not even American, and I wouldn't vote for Trump. Like, what the hell is that? Like, bro, please no. You cannot... You cannot be a conservative goth. Like, that goes against every single thing being... Like, that goes against everything being alternative is about. The things that conservatives stand for is, like, the opposite of what we're trying to do, Fuki. What do you... Like... <laughs> like... Girl, you're anti-LGBTQ, but the whole community's pro. Like... I'm trying to make a comparison right now, but I can't think of any because, like, this is just so absurd to me. Like, I feel like this is a unique case because, like... Huh? What do you mean? You're a conservative. You, you're golf. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, sorry. I'll I'll get into why that doesn't make any sense in a second. Sorry, it's really hot here. What what? How hot is it here? It's really hot, y'all. And it's not me. I'm not the one who's reading up. Really, read, really. Fucking hell. I need to stop speaking. Actually, I need to shut my mouth. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm gonna read my notes now because now I'm just going on around and I don't want that. <clears throat> so, the subculture, the culture isn't only reliant on what you wear. It is, firstly, the alternative culture or like the, the community is very diverse. And normally when I say, oh, I'm, I really like alternative people, people just go emo, goth, emo, goth. Emo goth, emo goth, uh, emo goth. No. Um, that those are not the only ones. I hope we're aware of that. That not just because someone's wearing black or different clothing than a simple dimple, that doesn't make them emo. I'm. Okay. <laughs> that is the most infuriating thing ever. Like I'll wear something that isn't like I'm not even wearing black, bro. I'm just wearing something different. So I'm gonna go, wow, you're so emo, oh my god. And I'm like, Susan, Susan, honey, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hold your hand when I say, Buki, I'm not emo. I am not wearing emo. Mm -mm. And if I was wearing actual emo clothing, they'd think I was goth. Like, y'all don't know anything. And that's okay, I'm here to educate y'all. So firstly, there's a huge difference between emo and e-girl, whatever the hell this this is. This, you see all this? This is not emo. This is like grunge or what is it? The other ones. This is this is not emo. No, no. This, this right here. Hold on, I'll put you in the way. This is emo. This is the emo. And then this is right here is scene. Scene is slightly different from emo. Okay, so don't get them mixed up. And eat golf is literally like, come on, you cannot, you can't, you can't, you can't mix these two up. You can't. They, anyway, the alternative community is very diverse. They're not only like the alternative community isn't like just a bunch of people that wear black. Um, a lot of people in the alternative community like, I don't know what they're called, but I've seen them all on my for you page before. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second, guys. Can, can I, maybe I should play some, like, music. <laughs> Hold on. So, sorry, I'm back. I got kind of distracted for a bit. But, um, another example of, like, an alternative community that doesn't wear all black, probably the most best example is Harajuku. Harajuku is one of, like, another, is a, is a subculture that also has, like, other subcultures. But Harajuku is, like, a Japanese kind of, like, it, it comes from Japan. Harajuku is super cool. There's also a uh, Geru. I think that's, I don't know if that's how you say it. Geru. Geru is also a subculture in sort of a community that's like very different. That comes from like East Asia. And it is like my, me personally, I love Geru. I could never pull it off, but I love seeing Geru. I see them all on my For You page. Harajuku, Geru, they're all over my For You page. And they're also a part of the uh, alternative community. So basically anyone who just like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, bro. 
Alternative fashion is super diverse. And again, there's lots of different subcultures and sub, you know, I don't, I don't like putting myself in a box. I don't even know what subculture I mean. I, I just, I'm just alternative. I just, I just do stuff. Um, so yeah, I think they're really cool. And people always just think that it's just goth and emo when it's not true. There's a lot of other subcultures. Um, but you mean, you don't have to know, about, you don't have to know all of them. God, I don't even know half of them. So like, it's okay. Obviously they're metalheads, they're hippies. <sighs> hippies. I'm just used to that. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so most of the subcultures are have a lot of views and values. Same thing with the whole com alternative community has like values and opinions and stuff like that that like, yeah, that most people agree with, right? So, 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 so. The thing what people get confused is that they think alternative is just about clothes, right? But it's also about like the music. But at the same time, the music corresponds with the political views. And I feel like people miss that. Like, they, like again, as I said, conservative God. But you listen to Green Day and they, and you're voting for Trump. Like, uh, it's like, it's, it really makes no sense. Like, be, okay, you can't be God. Okay, I mean, you can be God and listen to Green Day. But Green Day is more of like a punk you know, you know, I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want, just because you dress a certain way, just because you're alternative doesn't mean you, you don't listen to any other types of music, like, that's so stupid, like, I love rap, I, I love rap, I love rap, I like pop, I like k-pop, yes, you heard me right, Stray Kids fans, arise, yes, did you guys see the, like, Green Day and, Street, and Stray Kids pose the other day, I was so excited, I was like, my words like, kind of lighting, I was happy, anyway, Clothes don't define the music taste. Point is, Green Day is, uh, I'm gonna talk about them real quick because there's this trend going on, on, like, on conservative side of TikTok where a bunch of conservatives, like Trump supporters, are like, um, don't wanna be an American idiot, you know? They're like doing that TikTok trend to a Green Day song called American Idiot, right? And they're compl they're like, oh, I don't wanna be a, a American idiot, like, I don't wanna be liberal, ha ha ha. Like, guys, the whole song that Green Day Green Day ma made is about conservatives and how they're so stupid. They're idiots. That's the whole point of the song, that they're idiots. And then the same idiots go on TikTok and go, don't want to be an American idiot. Mm-hmm. Don't like the liberals. Like, what song are you using? Like, the song is, is making fun of you for doing exactly what you're doing. Like... Mm -mm. Like a lot of alternative music is literally like anti conservatives, like pro liberal, pro like LGBT, like every, like most bands and most artists are very pro. They're not conservatives, most of them. There are a few odd ones. So, like, one example, another example of alternative view that uh, they have is like anti capitalism. So, like, that's why a lot of the um, alternative community uh, like to, like, thrift and, like, upcycle clothes and, like, make your own clothes. Like, especially the punk community, uh, it's very normal to, like, thrift and make your own, like, make your own stuff, bro. Like, this, like, like, I remember when I was younger, younger as in, like, two years ago, I, like, bleached one of my uh, shirts, the, my black shirts, and I drew, like, a skull at the back. It was fun. You know, that, that, would, that would be like upcycling clothes, like super old clothes. Like this is a super old top. Uh, I got it when I was like in year seven. I'm in year nine now. It's really like, it's, I, it's, I thought it was kind of ugly because like the original cut was like that. So obviously that, that last week I kind of like cut it. And I was like, I'm going to be cunty with this. Like I'm going to be cunty. So this would be like upcycling, right? This would be, yeah, like anti-capitalism. And... The problem is a lot of people who claim to be alternative go on Sheen and like do stuff like that. And look, there's nothing wrong. Well, no, no, there's so much wrong with shopping on Sheen. There's so much things wrong with that. 
you all know i'm not gonna i don't think i need to explain it to you but like one of the points is that like child labor is heavily involved in the making of clothes and it's over consumerism in my personal opinion she just makes like new clothes like like whatever it's trending a thousand um like stock of those like they just make whatever everyone likes and it's like a lot of those clothes that you like for a certain amount of time next week you're gonna throw it away because it's not trendy anymore you know like it's very high consumerism and i don't like high consumerism i think it's really dumb uh like going like like trend shifters are just i don't like that you know but like obviously let's say you're like when i like again 2021 2022 i again i don't i don't dress like very alternative back then and i was really like jealous and i was really like envious of other people who could so obviously when i heard like sheen who had like alternative clothing uh so what is it called rome rome we whatever the hell that thing is called you know which like brand i'm talking about and i went on there and i was always like so oh my god and i thought it was so cool you know and like if you don't have like if you come from a low income house like middle class lower middle class and you buy from sheen that's fine i would say it's not it's not, it's not fine but like you know like fine fair enough fair enough i understand but if you're like an influencer or you're making bank and you're going to Sheen and then you're going, I'm, I'm alternative. I'm going to personally clap you because like you have the money. You don't even need money to be alternative. Like, I don't know. I don't even know who came up with that. And I'm really like that, that like opinion, like that you need to have money to be alternative is so silly. And I wish I could tell myself when I was younger that money, like that's like, you don't need money to be alternative because the OGs back in the day, they they didn't have the money. Shocker. They just made their own clothes. As I said, you make your own clothes, you find old clothes, you just do you DIY. That's like the whole... Like you don't need money to be alternative. Shocker. Mm. You just make things. I remember um, one of my friends... One of my online friends that I no longer talk to. <laughs> uh, they took like a bunch of monster cans and like they made like spikes out of them. Like you can like cut the monster can up and like hot glue them together, make some spikes, paint them with like black nail polish. Put then she put them on her shoes, on her boots. Like dude, you can like do like, like oh my god. You can like make anything. You can make any alternative clothing with like hardware like store stuff. Like I'm telling you right now. You don't need to be going on Sheen. And, like, I know you think that you have to, but please listen to me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't not give in to capitalism. Uh, capitalism, like, me personally, that's one of the reasons why I don't really shop from, like, high-end brands. I don't really like them. Like, Cotton On and H&M and, and like, uh, Factory and, uh, what's the other one? Zara. I try to avoid them because, firstly, they don't have the clothes that I want. But I can see H&M is trying to, they're trying to pull in all the alternative people. The other day, I saw a Slipknot shirt. I don't know what they're trying to do, but I'm going to back up, buddy. <laughs> You're going to, like, the whole, like, they're trying to, like, appeal to alternative people, which is so funny to me because, like, no, we don't like capitalism. You're trying to capitalize on us. It all started with Nevada. It all started with Nevada and... I'm not even a huge Nevada fan. My friend is a huge Nevada fan. Shout out to Rebecca. Huge fan. But when I see a 10-year-old wearing a Nevada shirt, look, I don't get I don't like AKP personally. But my friend was wearing a Nevada hoodie that was that was her little sister's. And I asked her, oh my god, do you listen to Nevada? Because again, as I freak out, I'll let my okay, I, I just freak out. Anyway, and she's like, no. I don't. It's my sister's hoodie. She looked so disgusted, like, ah! like, girl, I thought we were friends of this. No, no, I'm not saying. <laughs> but anyway, I was really excited, and then I was let down very quickly. And then she's like, my sister likes this. And I was like, oh. And I guess I'll be speaking to your sister then. <laughs> like, no, I'm just joking, but like, you know, that kind of, it's like, it feels like catfishing. Like, you're, you're catfishing me. That's like, that's like wearing a Billie Eilish themed like hoodie and then I come up to you and I'm like, oh you're like Billie Eilish and you go, eh, 
I don't like her. Oh, okay, that's cool. Like, I don't care, but, like, I also care because I get catfished. Because I think I'm making new friends, and then actually I'm not making new friends. So, anyway. Um, and, like, again, clothes are important, but don't think too much of it. Money isn't everything. You don't need to be shopping on Sheen every two days to buy something new. Calm your, calm, slow your roll. Um, and I don't know why, but, like, I don't know, guys. I'm just saying that capitalism is, is a lot of poo-poo. Like, capitalism is, like, I don't like that. There are six different movements in the alternative space. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this out because, because I'm really dumb, so. <clears> the <throat> first one is alternative, the alternative music music movement. Alternative music movement. In music, the alternative movement refers to genres that emerged as counter to mainstream pop and rock, especially in the 1980s and 1990s. This includes bands and genres like alternative rock, indie rock, grunge, and pop and punk, which often focus on non-commercial experiment, experimental sounds and DIY do-it-yourself ethics. Two, alternative <laughs> political movement. This refers to political. This, <laughs> this <laughs> refers to like to political movements that propose system of or ideologies different from those of mainstream political parties. These uh, movements often emphasize uh, decentralization, grassroots activism, environment, environmentalism, uh, social justice, and may include movements like um, anarchism, eco-socialism, or liberalism. I don't know why they have to have ism to everything. Okay. <laughs> anyway, third one is alternative medicine movement. The alternative medicine movement advocates for healing practices outside of the conventional Western medicine, such as uh, I mean, herbal remedies, um, homeopathy. I don't know what that is called. You're gonna have to ask somebody else. <laughs> uh, four, alternative lifestyle movement. This refers to ways of living that go against social norms, often embracing unconventional values such as um, communal living, off grid living, minimalism, and voluntary simplicity. It, all, it can also include movements like LGBTQ rights or Counter-cultural movements. Uh, number five, alternative art movements. In the art world, alternative movements often reject commercialized or institutionalized uh, forms of art. These movements like street art, conceptual art, and underground art scenes focus on challenging traditional um, aesthetics and offering alternative forms of expression. Um, I would say my favorite, uh, well, I, don't know if he's, I don't even know if he's alternative, like, but I think so. It's probably Bang, Banks, Banks, I don't know, what the, what's his name? I know he's British, I think. I don't know anything about school. Banksy? Bang. Banksy? Oh, yeah, so he's definitely like a political. Um, Banks. Bank. How the hell do you say it? Bro, give me the pronunciation. Banksy. Banksy! Okay, Banksy. Banksy is my favorite, probably my favorite one. Anyway, um, the alternative media movement. The alternative media movement refers to independent uh, uh, media outlets that challenge mainstream corporate news sources. These outlets often include, uh, often focus on investigating journalism, social justice, and providing platforms for unrepresented um, voices. So, you know, the movement can refer to like various concepts depending on context, but genuinely it refers to like movements or subcultures that challenge mainstream norms, ideologies, or practices, right? So like, I don't know if you're catching my drift, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but the whole point of being alternative is going against the norm. Going against what everybody else does. The norm, the regular schmegler people. And look, there's nothing wrong with being regular schmegler, Pookie. There's nothing wrong with being regular schmegler. I like my regular schmegler dudes. I like my simple dimple girlies. It's okay. But I feel like, you know, being different is also really fun. I find it really fun. And alternative people are different. Um, they're weird. They're weird in the best way possible, by the way. And they're diverse, and I really love that. Peace and love. Peace and love. What's that fire said? What's that fire said? Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video. I'm done ranting about the alternative community. I'm done now. I promise you, I'm not going to nag about it anymore. I just want to uh, like put that little piece of myself in the world. I just think that there are so much more to just, like, being alternative is so much more than the clothes and the music.
it's it's the community it's the views it's the lifestyle that's so important and i feel like i just wanted to emphasize that because i don't hear a lot of people uh talk about that but of course guys i'm not some expert genius on the twitter community i'm just a kid i'm just a girl i'm only 15 give me a break uh if there's anything i said that's wrong or what you think is wrong uh leave your opinions down in the comments below drop a little like likey uh look follow um so whatever you want to do but like if you have like a different opinion to mine so just want to have a conversation a constructive conversation in the comments be your free to do so um yeah you can just do that <laughs>